In this lesson, we see how to create a new project file from an Excel workbook. Very often, we have project data that comes in from team members or you have your own data stored in an Excel workbook. So, very often there are situations where multiple team members are giving their own work estimates in Excel workbook and as the project manager, you will need to collect and combine all of that into your project plan. Now, Project 2013 makes this happen very easily and you can import all the data into a project plan. So let us look at this example Excel workbook with a list of tasks. Actually, we have a nicely arranged format here with three columns. There is also a header row at the very top with headings marked as WBS, task name and duration. You will see in a short while that it is a good practice to have the headers. And actually, when you ask your team members to compile their own work breakdown or work estimates, it is a good practice to use a standard template like this and ask them to fill it up. That way, when you are compiling from multiple sources, you will be saved a lot of trouble. Now, let us see how this can be used to actually create a new project. We are in the new file section of Backspeed and in the right, right side we see the button for new from Excel workbook. Well, this is exactly what we want. When I click on this, the standard open dialog box opens. This is because the project wants to know where the Excel workbook is located. So I navigate over to my folder and select it but my file does not show. This is only because by default the file type is selected as XML and I have to change that to Excel workbook and there it immediately shows. When I select my sample file and click open, the op import wizard opens. This is a step-by-step -step guide that will walk us over the process of bringing our data in. In the first screen, you just click next. The second screen is also just the next button. Basically, it is asking if I have a data map. I click next and move ahead. And here we are presented with three options. It is good to understand the screen a little bit. You can actually take the data from the Excel file and uh, do three things with it. Either create a new file or send it to the end of an existing file or else you can choose only specific columns to be added to another existing file. They all work in pretty much similar ways. In this case, we are creating a new project file and we will let the option stay as it is and click next. In this screen on the top part, I select tasks as my sample data did not have any resources or assignment data. And in the bottom part, it is asking me if my data has a header. I leave it as it is and click next. Now, this is the task mapping screen. And we have to first identify where our data is located on the workbook. Remember, the workbook has multiple sheets. So I select sheet one and immediately the header names get populated below. You can see the Excel fields, WBS and duration are identified correctly but the task name header has a not mapped in the red letters. What this means is that we have to manually identify which column in project this goes to. This is easily done as project has a column na called a name. You can just type it in or else select it from the list. There is a small preview window at the bottom and it looks good. So you can just click next and the next screen asks to finish the import and I click finish. And after a moment, our new project file is created. Everything looks good except what happened to our WBS codes. The WBS column is hidden by default and we have to insert it in. 
So I right click and click insert column on the context menu. Then I select WBS column and there we have it finally. So in this lesson we have imported data from an Excel workbook and successfully created a new project file from it. To extend this a little bit, the same method works when you have an existing project and want to append new tasks at the end. Or if you want to bring in only some particular columns from an Excel sheet and not the whole of it. 